Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Huntermon, and this is the end result of a Tales from Tech Support. I've never done one of these for YouTube, as I was just explaining to twitch.tv slash Huntermon if you want to catch me live. Um, but basically, here's what happened today. So first things first, um, I'm preparing to set up to play Ratchet and Clank all for one, and... I realized that I still haven't synced my trophies for uh, for Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, which I just finished. Okay, so I press the triangle button on the PlayStation 3 interface over the over the trophies list because it now lets you go into the trophies list, which it didn't always do. It now lets you go into the trophies list um, without it trying to sync, but you can force it to sync by pressing triangle. So I try to press triangle, tell it to sync, and it's like, okay, you got to sign into the PlayStation Network. Okay, no big deal. The information's already there. I don't know why my auto login isn't set. Maybe I thought about something to do with stream. It would mess things up. But the end result being that I need to put in my password. Put in my password. Do, 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 do the whole thing. Okay. But the next screen that pops up is like, you've got to do two-step authentication. Please use the authenticator to verify the password that you need to put in for this. I look around. Nothing has notified me. The last time I got a two-step authentication thing, I got it on my phone, so I open up the PlayStation app on my phone, and I double-check, and I don't have anything there. Okay. I check my email. Okay, nothing. I didn't get a text message, but I checked those anyway. Didn't get any of that. Weird. I go to the PlayStation website to double-check what my two-step authentication stuff is. The, the website does the same thing, basically, and it says, hey, you've got to enter in the code or whatever from the app. I look around the app. I Google things about where to find in the app. I'm not convinced I have the right app at this point because all the interfaces have told me is that I need to use a an app to get the right verification. Well, maybe it's not the PlayStation app. Maybe it's a third-party app that I don't remember installing or I only install for this specific thing. You know, like many people, I have five to seven authenticator apps on my phone that all do for different different services um i can't find out any of that stuff okay so i go to the support website for playstation and i log in and i get who i assume is a bot oh hey i think i still have their message open yes i do so Yesen yesenia a y-e-s-e-n-i-a and then the uh, presumably last name a yesenia a thank you for contacting playstation my name is yesenia a how may i assist you today uh, the how is not capital. Uh, so might be a person. I don't know. Remember, please do not refresh your screen or it will disconnect the chat session. Yeah, way to go, PlayStation. That's a great setup. In any event, uh, I say, I am not receiving my two-step verification. What app does PlayStation use for it? They say, nice to meet you. Is the online ID entered for the pre-chat form th of the account you desire the one you want to work with? Okay, first of all, that's not answering me, so I'm back to thinking it's a bot. Secondly... Yeah, I entered in my name, my email address, and my PSN ID. So I go, yeah, Hunter Munn is my PSN ID. And they go, thank you so much for the information. I'm sorry, due to the restrictions outlined in PlayStation, we are not able to proceed your, with your request. My apologies at this moment. I'm forced to end the interaction. Thank you for reaching us. Have a good day. Now that's cute and all, but that is on screen for about a tenth of a second. And then the screen is gone. The only reason I know that that is what she said, they said, is because I had an option to save the chat log. I had to save the chat log because I figured if it logged what was being said, that was the only way I was going to discover what it was the hell this person slash bot said to me. And that's what it said. Now, the next best part is, so I go back to the support website. I'm like, what the fuck? Let me try this again. And I refresh the page and I try and I put in my information. It's like, and it says, I don't remember the exact message, but it says... We have recently tried to help you in support. Apparently, we were unable to. Try back later. What the fuck? Um, I call up... I Google Sony support. If you don't know, this is a trick you can do with lots of technical support things. Lots of technical support things nowadays require you to use the website. But very often, they will hide a phone number you could call instead. So I Google Sony technical support phone number and I get an answer. I, I tell my phone to dial that number, dials the number. Okay, one of the results I can get is it's about post buying this, that, and the other. Don't ask us about PlayStation 5, yada, yada stuff. Okay, so then I 
Does Sonny 30, 350 clear the room? What is clear the room? I don't understand what you're saying. Well, welcome to welcome to San. Um, then uh, I call up the the telephone number, and the telephone number is like, uh, "Do you have a support code?" And I'm like, "No." So hit two. Okay, I hit two, and I hit the code and or hit the hit the thing, and it's like, "Okay, so we can't help you unless you have a code. You have to go through the support website." And then the phone number hangs up on me. I call back. Tell my phone to redial. And this time around, when it asks me if I have a code, I say yes. Sure, I have a code. I put in four digits and hit pound sign, and it starts to ring like it's going to somebody. And I'm like, whatever. I'll just explain to the person when I finally get to them, a human being, if you will, that uh, this is not this is not the issue. Like, this is fine. Let's just go on from here. Okay. So I get Max. I want to be clear. Max is actually helpful. Now, all the stuff around Max is Sony PlayStation, so it's not helpful. But Max is helpful. Um, and I talk to Max, and I'm like, Max, let me tell you the story of what just happened. I tell him the story I just told you, therefore I am not going to repeat the story because I just told you. So, I tell him that story, and I'm like, all I'm trying to do is two-step authentication. I think I should be able to do it. What is your app to do that? He's like, well, you can do it with the PlayStation app. He's like, it should have popped up a message for you, and, it, and I, it, I don't know why it didn't do it. And I'm like, okay, so now I know it's the PlayStation app, which I have, which I have used before, and it's not working. Day Day says, been there with my Xbox where I had to call them and help me out with the thing going. Right, right, right. But I have, the only time I have failed to get proper technical support by Microsoft is talking to the chat room, Okay. Kind of like Electronic Arts. Electronic Arts, until very recently, has had the best customer service I have ever used, as long as you're talking to a person on the phone. As long as you're talking to... If you're talking to the chat app, if you're going through the website for the support page, yada yada, all that shit is terrible, Electronic Arts. But talking to a person, which they no longer support, last I checked, was some of the best technical support experience I've ever had. But I have had basically nothing but terrible support from Sony, as I'm about to establish in this story. So, I, I talked to Mar Max, and he's like, okay, so what we can do is I can verify your account, and we can take the two-step authentication off. And he also tells me, this is a pro tip to anybody else, um, that he recommends that we stick with the uh, text message two-step two authentication, because the text message two-step authentication is basically so stupid it can't not work. And the app clearly doesn't work 100% of the time. And when you have two-step authentication, you can't just have stuff not work. Especially because of the way they want me to verify how I have uh, the how I have a PlayStation account. Okay, so here's what the, you need to verify your PlayStation Network account. In case you don't know, it's terrible. One, you have to tell them your state and city when you that you had when you signed onto the PlayStation Network. And activated your account for the first time. I got a PSN ID when they came out with PSN IDs. In PlayStation 3 era. So 15-ish years ago? Something like that. Luckily, even though I'd been moving a lot at the time, I must have guessed right when I gave Mar Max my information. Okay, that's one thing. Two, you have to have two uh, purchase verification codes... For things you bought on the PlayStation Network. That means if you by chance have had your account but never bought any DLC or anything like that, you don't have a way to verify your account because you don't have two things you purchased. And no, subscriptions do not count. So if you've purchased on PlayStation Network, Max tells me that is not a thing. The subscription purchase doesn't count. I assume from personal experience that this is because... Uh, this is because you can guess anybody's had a... Subscription purchase on PlayStation Network. Day Day says, what if you move, you can't remember what you put in your PS Network? Well, if you can't remember where you were when you set up your PSN, then presumably you no longer have a PSN account. Um, speaking from personal experience in a story that's related to the next element, um, it is... If you don't have a... If, it has been historically true with Sony. If you don't have a receipt... You don't have a product, meaning you don't have a warranty. And I say that because he's like, 
uh, uh, one of the elements that he needs is the serial number off of the PlayStation device that I used when I set up my PSN account. My original fat 60 gigabyte PlayStation 3. And I tell Max, oh, that's unfortunate. Sony stole my PlayStation 3. He has a pause. And I'm like, okay, it goes like this. This is a, this is a different technical support problem I had previously. I don't know if you're aware of this, but on PlayStation 3, if you have a hard drive in your system, that hard drive literally cannot be put into another PlayStation 3 to be used without it being formatted. Because the way the software and the hardware works, they have a DRM situation that if you try and put in your PlayStation 3 hard drive in another PlayStation 3, that PlayStation 3 will format your PlayStation hard drive because it's not a PlayStation 3 hard drive that goes in that specific PlayStation 3. Which means that way back in the day when I had to get my PlayStation 3 f sent in for technical support, I was on the phone for over two hours and I got to managers and stuff like that and I got them to verify to me, hey, if I send in my PlayStation 3 and you can't fix it, I need you to send it back to me. And they told me that that was okay, that was authorized, and that they could do that. This is a completely different technical support issue related to this current technical support issue. Because what happens is, um, if I get back a different PlayStation 3, I can't get my game saves back. That at that point had been going on for like nine years. And uh, I believe it was nine years. So, what ends up happening is Sony takes my $130, fixes my system by sending me back a different system, which obviously I can't use my game saves for. That hard drive... Funnily enough, is right here. I still believe that there is a way to get the PlayStation 3 save files off of this, off of this hard drive. But the, you will note that hard drive is not in my PlayStation 3, where I have installed Ratchet and Clank All for One. We're not there yet. So I tell Max, unfortunately, I can't give you the serial number off my original PlayStation 3 because Sony took it. I can give you the serial number off of the three, uh, the six gigabyte fat PlayStation 3 that I currently have, which is, has all my stuff on it. That's the best I can do right now, hoping that that will get past the hurdle of the aforementioned question that Day Day just had, which is like, what if you don't remember the city or town, yada yada. In this case, what if you don't have your original system? I am not the only person who have ever, ever sent their system in for technical support. If you've ever sent your system in for technical support and you didn't save your original serial number off of the system that you had your PSN account created from, then you might be shit out of luck by reclaiming your PlayStation Network if something happens. Something that happens, I should illustrate one more time, is not once again my fucking fault. Okay? Just like before, with the hard drive situation on the PlayStation 3 in which Sony agreed to send my system back to me unrepaired if they couldn't fix it, Okay, just like that, that wasn't my fault, this isn't my fault. I did everything I was supposed to, I didn't forget my password, I didn't lose access to my email account, I didn't change my phone number and not tell anything. I have the app installed on my phone for the PlayStation Store, that is, that is the PlayStation app that you are supposed to use, that has the authentication in it. I have two-step authentication in it, in it because I am a good modern technical consumer and it didn't send me the two-step uh, authentication code to approve like it has done in the past because pound sign Sony quality. Not my fault. So Max says let me put all this in and he puts it all in. And slightly longer story short, Max comes back to me three different times apologizing for how long it's taken. And I have been on Max's side of the phone. I have worked technical support and been on the side of the, the computer where all the applications aren't working like they're supposed to and shit's not going right. And so, when he's like, my, my things are loading and this, that, and the other, I'm just like, alright Max, as long as you're sticking with me, I'm sticking with you. Like, let's go. I, I'm here. I'm, you're on speakerphone at this point. I am poking around at other things, um, okay. And this happens, like I said, three times. It has now been a phone call that has lasted about 20 minutes, pretty short in the grand scheme of technical support phone calls, especially when concerns to Sony. And Max comes back and goes, okay, good news, you should be getting, and you should be getting an email, actually you're getting three emails. Okay. You get an email for re, for, as I look at my email, I have an email for redoing my two-step authentication. Max told me not to do that yet. He also said, oh yeah, don't click on that email. 
The email I didn't receive yet, but that I did while I was talking, um, was an email to reset my password, which I did. Fun note, you can actually reset your PlayStation Network password to an old PlayStation Network password, unlike some companies who keep records of your old passwords and tell you, hey, you've used this password before, you can't use it again, which I hate, and luckily, one tiny small, small props to Sony, they didn't do. So, okay. So I set it to the previous PlayStation Network password that I had like six years ago, and that worked. Now, you see this game is installed over here. This is not the end of the story. I go into the PlayStation 3 to make sure that this game is installed, which you see that it is. But it wasn't, because I just recently installed it. So the game that I wanted to play today is supposed to be installed and ready to go. I thought it was. I thought I already had it. But apparently, of all the Ratchet & Clank games I got on sale, this game never went on sale, and I kept waiting for a sale price. I checked PS deals, and it turns this thing has never been on sale since 2017. So even while I've been streaming stuff, this game hasn't been on sale. It's 10 bucks. It's not a big deal. Okay, whatever. Go into PlayStation Network. Double check the price of it. It's all right. I did. I wasn't planning on spending ten dollars today, but people want to see me play. As is clear by the number of viewers I currently have whis listening to me rant about how bad the technical support is on Sony in preparation for playing this game right now. Okay, I did not know this was going to actually take as long, but I hope people are entertained by it. In any event, um, I go into the PlayStation 3 interface. I click on the thing. I add it to cart. I go to the thing. I, I do the use my credit card. Okay. First thing I found out is I purchase things so infrequently on PlayStation, I need to update my credit card information. I mean, my debit card information. And I do that. Okay, no big deal. I am able to edit and make verify my actual credit card information. And then I get an error message. And this error message says, you can't use this payment method we gave you as an ability to use the payment method. You have to have money in your PlayStation wallet. So I have to use the bucket. You have to you have to grab money and put it in the PlayStation bucket and then use the money from the PlayStation bucket to purchase the game. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Fuck it. That's an extra step like it used to be done, but they stopped doing it. And I, now I don't know why I have to do it again. And I try and do that. And the PlayStation interface is like, no, 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 no. You can't add money to your wallet on PlayStation 3. You have to do it from the website, a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5. To buy something on the PlayStation 3. Even though we're giving you these options of things that you can use to purchase this product, you can't do that step with these things because we have made it so that you have to add money to the wallet, which you can't do on the system that you're on. Okay, fine. I go back to the website. So I'm on the website. I'm on the PlayStation Store website. I click into my account. I click onto the place where you're supposed to go to add payment, this, that, and the other. I click on $10, which is one penny more than I need because this game is $9.95. And I tell it to add to wallet, and it's like, error. And I'm like, what kind of error? What fucking error? It's like, I don't know, error. So I move all the cables around and plug my PlayStation 5 back in, which I haven't gotten to play just yet because there aren't any games that I own on PlayStation 5 except for Final Fantasy 7, and I've recently lost my hard drive for external data that is... is... Uh, housing all my old recordings and stuff like that, so even Captain Soja hasn't been back for us to continue our playthrough. But in any event, I plug in the PlayStation 5. I go to the wallet. Uh, I go, I'm sorry. You don't even actually do this from the PlayStation Store, fun note. You go to System, Users and Accounts, then Accounts, then I think Subscriptions. Then you go to the wallet and you can add $10 to your account. And I click the button expecting it not to work. And it works. Fuck it. I turned the PlayStation 5... Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the part where I had to update the PlayStation 5 to connect to the PSN. We totally forgot about that part. So I had to I had to update the PlayStation 5 to get to the PlayStation Network to change my account information to do everything I just said. But I was able to add the $10 to the wallet. So I do that. Then, I finally get back to... Day Day says, I don't have Microsoft work on my Xbox One. I have my grandpa working on it and we are both waiting for parts to come in. Oh. I mean, Microsoft does good work and they're quick. Like, I've sent them in... I've... Uh, me, along with helping friends, have sent them in like four or five Xboxes and they always get back within a week and they're fixed. So far. Um... Having said that, okay. 
So I'm now on the PlayStation 3 interface, and I go to the game that's in the cart, I tell it to use the wallet, okay, I purchase the game, and I start downloading the game. And at this point, I have forgotten that in addition to the PlayStation Network always being slower than the Xbox Live service, um, it's even slower on PlayStation 3. I don't know why they're throttling it, but this game, just before my rant that I'm doing for you here, Tales from Tech Support, um, only just finished downloading after about two hours. I realize it says 14 gigabytes, but that's actually very slow on my connection. Okay. I got nothing else. That's, 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 that's this story. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, please, um, comment, like, dislike, um, about my experience, yada yada. I'm about to start playing Ratchet and Clank as soon as I get up and get my drink, which I left behind me, which I would have sipped while I was doing this whole thing. Okay. That was a whole thing that happened. I have been Hunter Munn. This has been a prelude to Ratchet and Clank All for One that you can catch live along with other things at twitch.tv slash Hunter Munn, and I will see you in the future.